Good morning to you. It's Tamika Chambers. I've been tutoring clients to pass their NCLEX. And the one of the most important ways I help people do is to see what the question is asking them, to weed out the distractions. Feel free to contact me at tamikaj at aim.com. All right, you guys, let's tackle this question. Um, as you know, have something to write with, something to write on, write your answer, and also to you can write and state your rationale. Feel free to reply. Um, at, you know, in this video section. All right, so you are caring for a patient with emphysema and respiratory failure who is receiving mechanical ventilation through an endotracheal tube. To prevent ventilator-associated pneumonia, VAP, which action is most important to include in the plan of care? So we have a, a respiratory failure emphysema client on a mechanical ventilation, and I need to know which is the best way to to prevent our most important way to prevent VAP, ventilator associated pneumonia. So keywords, emphysema, respiratory failure, prevent ventilator associated pneumonia, um, mechanical ventilation, I wanna keep that. And also to what's the most important of these. So it doesn't mean that the, the other ones aren't important, but which one is most important? The most important um, um, Thing, our action to add on a plan of care is it administer order antibiotics as scheduled, hyperoxygenate the patient before suctioning, or maintain the head of bed at 30 to 45 degree angle, or suction the airway when coarse crackles are audible. So go ahead and select your answer. Also to write or state your rationale. And we're going to go back to this question. So as I go through here, you know, what do I know? Keywords also with my testing strategy that um, is available, um, I, I ask you, what do the keywords mean? And when I think about VAP, a ventilator associated pneumonia, I think about one of the best ways to prevent pneumonia is to position the client, right? Because fluids, how do fluids get up in the lungs when we're laying flat, when we have them laying flat, when you think about older clients and preventing them, and when you think about feeding them and thicket, you know, vent to prevent pneumonia, one of the best non-invasive ways is to position them. So administer order antibiotics as scheduled. Yes, that's going to be important, you know, especially if they have it. Hyperoxygenate the patient before suctioning. Suctioning is definitely important. Um, suction the airway D, but the most important thing to do that is, again, non-invasive is to get that head of bed positioning. And so um, this is a nurse's lab question. I love that the rationale is there. As you can know, C is the answer. If you got it, congratulations. If you didn't, just go back and look at, okay, what did I miss in this question? What? Why did I choose this other answer? Look at the rationales, but positioning is the best way. And that's a principle that I have kept with me throughout nursing is positioning is one of the best ways to prevent um, pneumonia, whether it's VAP or just pneumonia in general. All right, you guys, I'll talk to you soon. Feel free to check out my uh, testing strategy you can find on Etsy and also on my website at Fulfill Your Purpose um, Teachable. And um, I'll, I'll be talking to you guys soon. Feel free to reach out at me, reach, to, reach out at me <laughs> or contact me at TamikaJ at aim.com. Thank you so much for um, using these questions to help you prepare for your NCLEX. I'll talk to you soon.